Today I'm going to listen to Zombie by Peyton Parrish, a cover of the Cranberries for the first time. Let's do this. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I listen to your favorite songs for the first time. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video for more videos just like this and more reactions to your favorite music. So uh, today I'm listening to a cover of the Cranberries famous song. I think really maybe their only song, uh, Zombie by Pain and Parish. If you don't know who that is, you need to look him up. He is one of the most talented vocalists um, on the internet, on Spotify, on every music streaming platform. He is unreal literally unreal um i have a couple of songs on my spotify i got the one he has with tim Connolly. uh i have the one he has with Adam gauntier uh, his cover of <laughs> i'll make a man out of you which is like what that's insane so uh payton's cool he's such an incredible vocalist and this will be awesome i just know it's gonna be awesome because he, this guy doesn't miss so let's get right into it uh, here we go let's see what we got A little bit of an extended intro, but also just kind of a, you know, side note here. Um, one thing about Payton Parrish I love is that even songs that have such incredible high notes, because his register is so low, how he makes it work. Like, it, it's really, really cool. I'm excited to see what this is. Stop, Hayden. He his register is so low. It's so cool because, like, most people have such like a middle kind of register where it's very hard to hit notes that low, and then obviously it's very hard to hit notes like really really high his default is so low that it's like you know you kind of think how is he going to make this song work because if you heard the original like it's 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 not exactly a, a a song that you would think would work with him but it's just he's so good he's so talented it's 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 unbelievable let's rewind that a little bit Oh, I love that. No, when he says my, hold up, rewind that. When he says it's not my family, the the way he enunciates it, it's really, really nice. Hey, a little bit rasping there too. It's not me. It's not my oh, so good. Before we get into the course, it's coming. But before we get into the course, I just want to say the thing with him that's so incredible is that this is just raw talent. This is just pure raw talent. Yeah, there's a little bit of mixing involved, but this is just pure vocal ability of an incredible vocalist. Like his his phrases, his phrasing are just insane. Yeah, let's go. Beautiful course. Beautiful. Now 
another thing to notice here too is that even in the course of right now with the snare the amount of volume that you have with Payton's vocals versus the rest of the band like Payton's overpowering them in the most positive way because realistically why are you coming to watch this video why are you coming to listen to this song you're coming because you want to hear Payton sing you want to hear his version of this song his his way of of um uh making his art artistry put into the song and what i love about that is that nothing against the artists or the the, the musicians in the background but this is not their time to shine this is this is his so one of my biggest pet peeves is when you know I li i'm trying to listen to his song and you can barely hear the vocals because whoever mixed it like the the drums are so loud the guitar is so loud it may sound amazing the guitarist may be amazing the drum may be amazing the drummer excuse me but i want to hear the singer too now in this case like i came for the singer so really really good mixing on this part uh and i think the producer was jonathan y music i'm, I'm assuming the producer of the video i'm not sure if he uh did anything towards the song but i could be wrong Nice though. Oh, let's go. Beautiful guitar phrasing, beautiful guitar work. Just beautiful guitar work there. Um, but the high note that he hit there leading into that next bit was just unreal. He's so good. He's just incredibly talented. Again with that note, let's go! Dang! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. just one of the most incredible vocalists that we have today like you know yes we have so many incredible vocalists um that are around right now but he's got to be up there he's just maybe he gets kind of overlooked a little bit because he has a very unorth not unorthodox voice but like you have so many incredible vocalists that are still alive or still around or coming up whatever but what do they all have in common they have a very traditional voice they have a higher register they have even a middle register they sing rather more known poppy music or whatever it is he gets a little bit overlooked he has a phenomenal voice he's got to be up there it's one of the best talents that we have today um and just such incredible artistry and, and, and emotion like you i'm watching that video and i've heard that song a million times i heard this version the cranberries version i heard bad wolves version but when every you listen to the song obviously it's an emotional song but something about him and the way he kind of did it just really takes you in and i know i pause a lot but that's the point of the video but i want to listen to this again not pause it just in my car just driving somewhere he, he he's so good he just captures you which is what i love about his music now i got a question for you if you're still watching this and i hope a lot of you are in the comments below 
out of the three versions that we really know of the song, I'm sure there's multiple, but the three main versions, the Cranberries, Bad Wolves, and this version, what is your favorite? Comment below, and until next time, take care.